ओके सो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन हेलो हेलो सो इट्स एरलियर सो ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद the presentation of the auditives for today. Okay, welcome to the online English program. Here we go. Online English program, right? So welcome to this class, to the Queen Intermediate Model 2, session 10, November 14th. 2023. Now we have the general information, facilitators' name, Salvador Hernandez Hernandez, schedule uh, Monday to Thursday from 7 sharp to 8 o'clock. Place virtual classes. Here we go. Okay, now in the agenda for today. So today, today we have the greeting. Hello, Glenda. Good evening. How are you? Oh, hello. So she's connecting her audio. Okay. Today we are in the tenth day. Hello, tenth, uh, two thousand twenty-three. And we are in the we are from seven to seven. Then we have the greeting, welcome, and general instructions. The review, the warm up, the synonyms, the snapshot, conversation, grammar, focus, vocabulary, and platform exercises. She's gorgeous and feedback. Closing and five minutes for advices. Okay. So then we have uh, the uh, specific, the general objective and the specific objective. I see for and getting information about people, descriptions, describe appearance. Snapshots in grammar focus, complete some grammar exercise in the platform and identify activities in familiar scenarios, practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations. What are we doing today? Hi, hello. Okay, so, uh, hello, Madrenesto, are you driving, working? Now, the first, Objective. Participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about people description. Participants will be able to describe appearance, practice and create a conversation based in a model dialogue, complete reading exercise and listening. Okay. And the third objective for today is repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete uh, some exercise in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned. Okay, so here we go. Uh, hi, Glenda, now can you, you, can you talk? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, how are you? How's everything? Fine, thank you, okay. and you? Fine, thank you. What do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we study yesterday? Hmm? Did Des we study? Description, description people. Uh huh. Okay, yes. Uh huh. People description. Excellent. Very good. And vocabulary. Do you remember vocabulary you, you have uh, yesterday? Huh? The, is the higher age uh -huh. um, uh, yes the hair the hair the height uh -huh. looks uh -huh. yes it's about look right what does she look like what's the topic so what do they look like Uh huh. So I am answering to one of your classmates. 
Okay, so, aha. Uh -huh. And so the vocabulary was about people's description, right? Okay. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Okay, now, so you have uh, a here, vocabulary about appearance, about, uh, okay, appearance. And so we have a hair, age, looks, and height. Okay, and we have a conversation, right? And yesterday we studied these uh, questions. Can you help me, uh, Glenda, to read the questions, please? Okay, for this. Okay, Miss, what does she look like? Mm -hmm. How old is she? Yes. How tall is she? And how long is her hair? Uh -huh, is, uh -huh, her hair. Yes, right? La de abajo okay. también. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. does, we, does he wear glasses? Uh -huh. Does he wear glasses? Yes. How old, how old is he? How tall is he? And uh, what color is his hair? Uh, yes, what color is his hair? Is his hair? Okay, so you have a how tall is he? How tall is she? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Glenda. So with these questions, with these questions, uh, so we have uh, this one, right? We. Uh, we have a homework to answer these questions. Okay, uh, hello, Mario. I don't know if Mario can talk. Hello, hello, Mario. Also, like, uh, okay, let me see. Hello, hello. Hi, Mario, are you available to talk? Okay. Okay, so you have a write questions to match these statements, then compare with the partner, right? So write questions, okay, write questions to match these statements, then compare with a the partner. Okay, now the number one uh, is my brother is 26. Uh, do you remember what is the answer, uh, Glenda, for the number one? So if my Here brother teacher. is- uh -huh. How old is your brother? How old is your brother, right? How old is your brother? My brother is 26, 26 years old, right? Okay, very good. Uh, what about the number two? I am 173 centimeters, five feet, eight. How tall are you? How tall, how tall are you? Esta de tall como si fuera una, como si fuera una o, ¿verdad? How tall are you? Okay. How tall are you, right? Okay, so and then you have a, my mother has brown hair. My mother has brown hair. For the number three, it would be my, uh -huh. so what is the question for in the number three? The, the answer is my mother has brown hair. It's about the, the color, right? It's about the color of the hair. Uh -huh. What color is your mother's hair? What color is your mother's hair, right? What color is your mother's hair? Excellent, very good. Okay, so because we're talking about the mother, right? Okay, so welcome people. Uh, what else? Who? Welcome Miguel. Uh, welcome Miguel. Uh, ¿Quién más? Roberto Carlos. Saul Alejandro. Hi. Good evening. Does she wear glass? Uh -huh. uh, no, she wears contact glass lenses. What is in the number four? Uh -huh. Does she? Does she? Does she wear glasses, right? Does she wear glasses? What she wear glasses? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that she wear glasses, as Maria said, right? No, she wear a contact lenses. Now, what about the number five? He's tall and very good looking. What is the answer for the number five? Uh huh. He's tall and very good looking. What do you think is the answer? Maybe what does he look like? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What does she look like? Uh huh. What does he look like? What does he look like? Because the answer you have a he, right? Uh -huh. What does he look like, right? What does he look like? Okay, and the number six. What about the number six? My sister hair is medium length. What is the possible question for about the hair? How long is okay. your sister hair? Uh -huh. How long is your sister's hair? Hair, no high, right? How long is your sister's, your sister's hair? My sister's hair is medium length. What about the number seven? And the number seven? Uh -huh. What is the question for the number seven? Okay. In the number seven, so can Maybe you read the, what hmm? color is your your eyes? Your eyes. Uh -huh. Excellent, Glenda. What your color eyes. are your eyes? Okay, what color are your eyes? I am answering to one of your classmates who are asking for permission. Okay. So uh okay, here we go. Okay, okay, so um, in the, okay, what color are your eyes? Okay, I have dark brown eyes. Okay, do you have any question with this? Do you have a question with this? Oh no, no questions. Any alguna duda? Any doubt about these questions? No question, teacher. Okay, that's nice, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now you're going to listen. Listen to the description of six people, number them from one to six. You're going to listen to the description and you are going to number them, right? You're going to number what is number one, what is number two, what is number three, four, five, and six. You're going to listen to the description, okay? After that, you're going to listen again. Listen to the descriptions Listen to the descriptions, number them from one to six, from one to six, and then listen again and how old is each person. Okay, now number one. Give me a second, please. Page 60, exercise four, listening. Who is it? Part A. Listen to descriptions of six people. Number them from one to six. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. I think he's about 30. Two. Tina's 18. She has red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Five. Gary is in his 50s. He's bald and has a small mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears soccer shirts and jeans. 6. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, the, you're going to listen again. You're going to listen one more time, okay? 
Page 60, Exercise 4, Listening. Who is it? Part A. Listen to descriptions of six people. Number them from one to six. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. I think he's about 30. Two. Okay, so. Ten what is 18. So what about uh, the number one? Number one is this one is the letter A or this one, the letter A or letter B? Uh huh, or he. This one, letter A or letter B? What is the number one, A or B? Hello? Letter B. Letter B, right? Thank you, Glenda, for answering. Letter B, he is number one. He, he is number one. Okay, very good. Now, number two. She has red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Okay, so the number two is she? Is she? Or is she? Number letter A or letter B? Letter A. Letter A, right? Letter A. So she's the number two. Here is the number two. And here you have the number one, right? Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, give me a few seconds. Okay, number one. Okay, number three. Let's listen to the number three. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Okay. Tim's about 23. He's fairly... Okay, then number three. Is she or is she? So this one, letter, this one, letter A. Letter A or letter B. So this one. ¿Podemos escuchar el audio otra vez? Yes, sure. A or B. Ok, dicen aquí. Todo el audio. Solo el del, el, el, ahorita, el que vamos a seleccionar, el 3. Size 4. Ok. Number them from 1 to 3. He's pretty tall. She has red hair, shoulder length, and That's very curly. Two. Number 2. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Number 3, ahorita. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Uh -huh. So this one, letter A or letter B? Letter A, teacher. Letter A, this one? Yes. Sure, seguros. So, vamos a ver. So this one is, according with you, she is number three. This girl? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's check it out. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Okay, so Five. The, the number four. The number four, who is? Is this one? Sorry, this one or this one? Letter A or letter B? Maybe letter A. Yes, maybe letter A, right. Yes, he's, that's correct. This one is the number four. Okay, very good. Now let's listen to the number five and number six. Uh, give me a second. Let's listen to the number five. Gary is in his 50s. He's bald and has a small mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears soccer shirts and jeans. Okay, so the number five. Is this man, the colored man or the girl? Is men. The man, right. Number five is this. Okay, number five. And she's the number six. Okay, let's check it out. Six. Oh, no. Alice is very tall. 
and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Is she the number six? Yes. Do you agree the rest of the people? Hello, people. Do you agree or do you disagree? I think that the number three is the... Number six. Yes. And this one in uh, the... The description says that have a long black hair or not. Okay. Like this. We'll be like this. Okay, let's listen again. One more time. Pay attention, please. Page 60, exercise four. Listening. Who is it? Number three. Part number A. Six, right. Listen to descriptions of six people. Number them from one to six. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. Yeah. I think he's about 30. Two. Tina's 18. She has red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair. She has long blonde hair. What is the meaning of blonde? Do you remember? Long blonde hair. Long blonde oh, yeah. hair. Yes. Uh -huh. And wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. She just turned 10. This one is correct, right? Ella acaba de cumplir 10. She just turned 10. Now let's continue with the number 4. 4. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. 5. Gary is in his 50s. He's bald and has a small mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears soccer shirts and jeans. Okay, this is mustache, right? Six. Alice is very tall, Alice. and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, yes, right. This one is the number six. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions so far? Vamos a ver si las imágenes... Ah, aquí están diferentes, pero aquí solo hay cinco. In these ones, uh, you only have five. In your manual, you have only five, right? Only five. And here you have six. So this one is the correct outlook, right? So number two, number four, number one, number six, number five, number three. Okay? Now, listen again, and you're going to tell me their age. ¿Qué es lo que me va a decir? What are you going to tell me in the next listening? You're going to tell me the age. Okay? How old are they? How old is the number one? How old is the number two? How old is the number three? How old is the number four? Number five and the number six. You're gonna tell me the age. Is clear what are we gonna do? Yes? Uh, Manuel Alexander, is clear what are we gonna do? Hello, Manuel. Yes? The age. Hello, hello. Is clear what are we gonna do? Uh, no, uh, no sé si puede repetir, Manuel. Okay, so this is the instruction, uh, okay. Help me to read, Manuel. Manuel, can you help me to read the part B? Uh, yes. Listen again. How old is each person? Yes. You're going to listen again, and you're going to tell me the age, right? The age. Okay? Vamos a ver. Quiero ver quién más. Hello, Karen. Karen Cruz, is clear what are we going to do right now? Hello, Karen. Hello, hello. Karen Cruz, are you there? Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Hector Enrique, hello, Hector. What is clear what are we going to do? Oh, it's not clear. Hmm? Tell me. Tell me no. 
Ay, teacher. Eh, no, no entendí bien esa parte de lo que... Ok. Can you help me to read, please, the part B? Ah, ok. Listen again. How old is each person? Ah, yes. Ok. How old is each person, right? The age. We are going to listen about the age. The part B, but about the age, ok? Page 60, exercise 4, part B. Listen again. How old is each person? One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. I think he's about 30. Two. Tina's 18. She has red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Five. Gary is in his 50s. He's bald. And she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay. Listen one more time about the age. Or do you have one of the ages? Have the age or you don't have the age? Uh-huh. How old are they? Do you do you have the years about them? Or oh, no, not yet. Right now we're working in the part B, right? Okay, let's check it out who appears here. Okay. Uh, Jessica Lisset Campos, it says here. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Hello, Jessica. Jessica is not is not there today. Jessica. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hoy no está Jessica. Ah, no sé. Ah, cómo no. Jessica Lisset Campos. Hello. Hello, Jessica. Hello, hello. She's not available right now, maybe. Okay, listen one more time. Page 60, exercise 4, part B. Listen again. How old is each person? One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. I think he's about 30. Okay, what about Brian, the number one? How old is Brian? How old 30. is he? About his 30s. 30s, right? Around his 30s, okay? Now the number two. Two. Tina's 18. She has red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And How old is Tina? 18. 18. 18, okay, 18, right? Tina's 18. Number three. She always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Number three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Okay, what about Rosie? Rosie, how old is Rosie? The number three. Ten. Yes, she's around 10, right? She's around 10. Rosie is the number three. Number four. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. Number four. Tim is around 20. No la escucho. O si la escucho. Tim is around the number four. Okay, 
Four. Tim's about 23. 23, right, Tim. He's fairly short and a little bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Five. Gary is in his 50s. Gary is in his 50s. 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 Very good. Thank you. He's bald and has a small mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears soccer shirts and jeans. Name number six, the last six. One. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Okay. Oh, and she's very slim. Okay, Alice is? 25. 25, right? Excellent, very good. 25, that's good. Okay, excellent. Okay. Do you have any question about age? Or no, no questions. No questions. Now you have fashion on the street, right? On the street, describe your style. It says, look at it in your manual. So you have fashion on the street. Now in the fashion on the street, they are, well, they are similar, right? Very, very similar. Now, what about this one? You have a, a can you tell me the different styles that you have? Uh, can you read the styles? Um, Hector Enrique Guzmán, ¿será que me ayuda a leer? Styles. It's, okay. Es this one. Classic, cool and casual, funky. Funky, right? A cool and casual. Casual and funky. Have you ever heard about funky? Funky style? Have you heard about funky? Oh no. It's the first time. Now, in the public eye, right? We have a, in the classic. I said, ayúdenme a leer class, in the classic one, please. Uh, okay, thank you, Stephanie. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mario Ernesto. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you help me to read, please, uh, about the classic ones? Bottom down shirt. What's this information about the clothes? Yes. Bottom, down shirt, bed, dress, shoes, and slats. Slap, yes. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, we have a, a button, a button down shirt, right? A button down shirt. The button, button, and the belt, slats, a cinnamon pants, dress, dress shoes. Okay, the next one about cool and casual. Lucia, no sé si me ayuda a leer, Lucia. Yes, teacher. Okay, this. Um, what's the idea, teacher? This one, the green ones. This. Yes. Hey, cool, Montana, and, no? cool and casual? Ah, uh -huh, cool and casual. Yes, cool and casual. Casual. Is jacket? Jacket. Sweater? Sweater. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. And tennis sho shoes. Tennis shoes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Lucia. Okay, now the funky. Sure. Can you help me to about the funky style, please? Okay, Rommel, are you available to talk? Rommel? Rommel? Hi, teacher. Okay, this one, this information. Here, <laughs> or... Blade, spear, huh? strip, tights. Ah, yes. Striped types. Striped types are these. These are the stripe. The stripe types are these. Okay. The purse, the t shirt, the play skirt, right? Play skirt. Do you have any question with vocabulary? Tiene preguntas con el vocabulario? Yes. What Sorry? is purse? Purse. Purse. Purse is a, a synonym for bag. A synonym for bag, a small bag that you can use your coins, your, mon your money. Any more questions? It's a synonym for a, a small bag, right? 
Flies, skirts, skirts. Skirt. This one, flat skirts. Flat skirts. Yes, sir. This one, this one. Yes. Yes. Okay, the flat skirt is the skirt. Is this? Is the skirt? Is the skirt? The skirt is a synonym for. Um, uh, for example, look at this. Uh, she has well, the the flat skirt is like a, a Scottish. A Scottish a skirt. Is this a skirt? This is a skirt. ¿Lo pueden ver? Esa es una skirt. Una falda escocesa. Mm. Falda escocesa, literalmente. Es falda cuadrada, podría. Ok. ¿Eh? O sea que bueno. sería cuadros. O sea, el, el plate. Mm, yes. Uh -huh. plate. Yes. Mm. Yes. Similar to square. Yes, similar to square. Okay. Cuadriculado. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, now the questions. Here you have the questions. Creo que se, le, se ven más o menos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, these questions. Now, so can you help me to read, please, the questions? Vamos a ver, la pregunta no. okay. Ah, okay, Carvalho is listening. Okay, eh, eh, María José, you are not available to talk right now, right? Me recuerda que me dijo que... Ok, Saúl Alejandro, can you help me to eh, Solo leer con gusto, ahorita. Ah, ok. María José, so the first question, please. Which clothing... Items. Permito. Items do you often wear? Circle the items. Items. Circle the items. Ok, thank you. Items. Thank you, María. Yes, which clothing items do you often wear? The pronunciation is wear, right? I wear, you wear, she wears, he wears clothes. Este wear is a synonym for use, but only for clothes and only for accessories. Este wear es usar, pero solamente se utiliza para ropa y accesorios. Wear, the pronunciation is wear. Entonces se pronuncia la A. Wear is for cloth, clothes and accessories, right? Circle the items. Which clothing items do you often wear? ¿Cuál es esto? Utiliza usualmente, ¿verdad? Ok, now, the number two. Eh, quiero ver. Number two. Ajá, uh, vamos a ver number two. Eh, no sé si Saúl Alejandro me ayuda con la número dos. Creo que sí uh, puede, ¿verdad? Yes. What, what are three more things you like to wear? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much. Ok, what are three more things you like to wear? Is clear the question, people? That question is clear? Is good? Or is not clear? Is clear? The question is clear? What are three more things you like? Things you like to wear? Is clear the question? Or is not clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Now the number three. Glenda, can you help me with the number three? What's the style? Is it classic? And this uh, what your style is it classic, cool and casual? Huh? Funky? Funky? Something else. Something else, right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, so the number one, the question number one, vamos a ver aquí. Okay, Miguel, can you ask the question number one to Roberto Carlos? Hello, Miguel. Which clothing items do you often wear? ¿Puedes leerla, Miguel? La number one, yeah. a Roberto Carlos. Yes. Yeah. Bottom down, chair, bell, slat, y dress shows. Ah, ok. No, pero usted le haría la pregunta a Roberto Carlos. You ask the question oh, okay. to Roberto Yes. Uh, what is that do you like? La pregunta uno. Uh, uh, which clothing is and do you often wear? Uh -huh. Only that. Uh -huh. Which clothing items? Items. Do you often wear, Roberto Carlos? Oh, 
de jacket. Ah, okay. yeah, jackets, okay. Jackets. Um, shirt or t-shirt? Ah, okay. Um, t-shirt. T-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt, jacket. Yes. Um, sport shoes. Sport shoes. Okay, sport shoes. Any shoes. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Roberto Carlos. Okay, now the number two, the question number two. Uh, can you ask the question number two, Hector Enrique, Aglenda? What are three more things you like to wear? Hector Enrique, Aglenda. What are these more things? Things, things you like uh, to wear? You like to wear, Glenda? Boy, boy, que tengo que emplear la imagen. Ah, it's okay. Si se ve? Can you see it? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Very good. Um, Number two. Number two. I like, tengo que responder. No. ¿Cuáles son tres cosas más que le gusta usar? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, I... Ajá, I like, puede ser. I like to wear, me gusta usar. I like to wear shorts. Ajá, uh es -huh. yes, más short. Um, tenis and t-shirt. Ok, very good. Thank you so much. Ok. Muchas veces cuando uno no sabe, sabe cómo responder en la pregunta, se tiene que fijar en cuál verbo se usa, ¿verdad? Y con ese mismo verbo podemos responder. Por ejemplo, dice que te gusta usar. Entonces sería, me gusta usar. I like to wear. Eh, I like to wear shorts. I like to wear t-shirts. I like to wear uh, sandals or flip flops, right? Flip flops is sanguinas, flip flops. Okay, for example, here, I uh, wear this. You can answer it. I like to. Uh, ¿Dónde está el comentario? ¿Se puede? Okay, here we go. Answer. Okay, for example, here you can answer. I like to wear flip flops. Okay, flip-flops, like balco, balco flip-flops, the crocs, right? The crocs are flip-flops, the crocs. Is clear the meaning of flip-flops? Yes? Huh? Okay, yes or no? Is that clear the meaning of flip-flops? No? Sandals, yes. right? Like, okay, the crops, they are flip-flops. Okay, very good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the question now, uh, what's your style? For example, you have a, a, in this style, you have a classic, cool, casual, funky, formal, informal, a rock, or like a pop, or, oh, I don't know, or, or very, very formal with a tie and so on. Okay, what's your style? Ask this question, please. Eh, vamos a ver, Lucía, hágale la pregunta a Jessica Lizeth Campos Campos. This question in green, uh, the number three. Um, the question three. Uh -huh. Yes, the question three. What's your style? style? Uh -huh. Is it plastic? Cool and casual, funky, sometimes else. Something, something else. Something, something else. else. Something else. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jessica Lizette Campos. Hello. Hello. Se le agradecería a los compañeros que solamente van a, van a estar escuchando que le pongan listener, ¿verdad? Así ah. yo veo, así como lo han hecho los compañeros. Así veo este, la palabra que dice listener, listener. Entonces voy a saber de que solamente está escuchando porque uh, a veces no me envían quién está disponible para responder y quiénes no. Entonces, este, por favor, eh, póngale listener. When you are going to be just listener, just eh, add the word listener en su nombre, ¿verdad? Su nombre ahí le pone listener y así yo voy a saber que usted solamente está escuchando. ¿okay? 
So um, what's your style? Uh, okay, okay, okay Mary is driving. So Roberto Carlos, what's your style, Robert? <laughs> También está escuchando más. <laughs> okay, what's your style? What's more like your style? Hello? Uh, um, which are the possible answers? Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. What's your style? Your uh, clothing style? Uh, casual, formal, informal? Okay, so how do you go to work? How do you, what uh, clothes items do you go to work, for example? Normally is casual. Uh -huh, casual, okay, casual. Very good, casual. Thank you, Roberto. Casual, okay, very good. Okay, now you're going to listen a conversation. You're gonna listen a conversation. Uh, don't look at your manual. You only are going to listen and I'm gonna ask you questions. Okay, allí voy a agarrar personas al azar para que me digan qué es lo que escuchen eh, según el listening, ¿verdad? Give me a second, please. Okay, so we are in this part, the conversation. Page 61, exercise 8, conversation. Which one is she? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well... Okay, what word did you listen? Well, any word you listen? Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Excellent. Very good, Glenda. Good to see you. What else? He went to the concert. He went to the concert. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, now continue listening. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. Okay, what else did you listen? Which one in here? Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Very good, Lucia. What else? They are talking about Julia. Uh huh. Excellent. Very good. Okay. I am answering to one of your classmates. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now continue. We are going to continue. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Uh, what did they say at the end? ¿Qué dijeron al final ellos? What did they say at the end? Nice to meet you. Algo así. Huh? Okay, yes, nice, right? nice, nice. The window. Okay, listen one more time. Escuchemos una vez más. Page 61, exercise 8, conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh. I'd like to meet her. Okay. I like, I like to meet her, right? I like to meet her. Is this. I like to meet her. Okay. So the pronunciation of this one, uh, donde marco? <laughs> okay, so I like to meet her here. Uh, this one is too strong. Here, I like to meet her. So you have the letter T and letter H. The letter H is mute, right? It's silent. So meet her, I like to meet her, right? Meet her, meet her. Because you have the letter T between the vowels T and E, meet her, because the H is mute. Now listen one more time and Listen the pronunciation of the words. Page 61, exercise 8, conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. 
Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet her, right? Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Questions so far with vocabulary or pronunciation? Or, mm -hmm. huh? uh, she's a sta starting, starting? Uh-huh. Starting, starting. Near. Standing, standing, oh, standing, 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 yes, standing near the window. Near the window, standing. Question with that, huh? Huh? Uh, do you have a question with that? The meaning. Do you have questions with that meaning? Tiene preguntas con ese significado, Lucia, or only in the pronunciation? Is the significado también. She's standing near the window. ¿Qué significa, muchachos? She's standing near the window. Cerca. Cerca de la ventana, pero standing, standing. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Parada. She's standing near the window. Yes. Exactly. Oh, standing. Okay. Yes. Right. Standing. Standing near the window. More standing, questions. Standing. She's standing near the window. Yes, she couldn't make it. Ella no pudo venir, ella no lo pudo hacer. She couldn't make it. She couldn't make it, right? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert, a concert with Alex. She couldn't make it. Ella no lo pudo hacer, ella no pudo venir. Concert. Esta como que se pone una A, ¿verdad? Concert with Alex. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Por allá, over there, por allá. No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window, near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. I like to meet her, right? More question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Tiene más preguntas con vocabulary o la pronunciación? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, you're going to practice the conversation. Okay, you're going to practice the conversation. Uh, I'm going to send you the picture to the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, you're going to have the picture for this. Let me look for your group. Give me a second, please. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for your group. Oh, and Annie, can you send the screenshot, please? Lucia? Hello, Lucía. Lucía, puede mandar la cantidad de pantalla, por favor. Excellent, Lucía. Thank you so much. Very good. Now, I am going to make the groups. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lucía. I am going to make the groups to the breakout rooms. Rapidito, lo vamos a practicar porque quiero revisar la plataforma. Okay, I want to check the platform exercise. Here we go. Okay, the breakout rooms. Right now, you are 14. Without me. Okay, here we go. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Stephanie's not there. Okay, here we have, okay, let's see. Uh, Glenda, don't go to the breakup room. Stay here, please. Se queda aquí, Glenda. Okay. 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 Uh, Mario is listening. Ajá, uh -huh. así sé que Mario está escuchando. Ajá, uh -huh. así quedan dos ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, Lucia, so what I have. Okay, and Lucia, can you stay here, please? Okay, thanks. Okay, stay here. Ver, aquí hay... Jessica Lisset Campos puede, puede practicar, o ahorita no puede, porque allí no aparece si está escuchando o no. Eh, Glenda, okay, Jessica, Manuel. Okay, ah, pues ahí quedan solamente dos, si Jessica no puede hablar. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and the breakup rooms are open for practicing this conversation, right? Se va a meter al breakup room, pues su compañero va a practicar esta conversación. Uno de ustedes va a ser Luis y la otra, el otro va a ser Raúl. Raúl, okay? Solo Glenda and um, Glenda and Lucia, they are not going to the breakup rooms, okay? 
Héctor ya entró, falta que entre Saúl Alejandro to the room number three. Saúl Alejandro to the room number three. Manuel también ya entró, falta que Miguel Ángel Clemente entre. Ok, para que Miguel practique con Manuel. Saúl Alejandro practique con... Y aquí Karen me quedó sola. Ok, I'm going to move to the room number two. Ok. Ok, María José... Ah, María José, si puede practicar, va a ser practicar con Roberto Carlos, que está solo él. María José, como allí no sé si, si pueden o no pueden hablar. Que ver, Saúl ya está con Héctor. Miguel Ángel Clemente, acepte la invitación del breakout room number two, please. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel, falta que Miguel Ángel practique con Manuel, porque está solo él. Y igual puede unirse este. Ah, no, dice no. María José Torres, no, lo que va, pues voy a poner a, Ma, quiero ver, a Roberto, voy a mandar al Breakup Room 2. Ajá, Breakup Room 2. Vale, ahí está. Solo estoy esperando que no queden solos en, el break, en los Breakup Rooms. Eh, Roberto. Roberto, Roberto. Ok, solo estoy esperando que Roberto Carlos se vaya al Breakup Room 2. Ok, porque Glenda, Stephanie is listening. María José, no sé. Roberto Carlos. Ay, no sé. Ok, ahí está. Perfect. Good. Ok, ok. Ay, Romer también me queda solo. <laughs> okay, Rome. Because Mario is listening, right? Okay, go to the breakup room three. Okay, ahí está. Rome. Ahí está, okay. Now, the people. Glenda, can you be Liz? And Lucia, can you be Raul? Okay. Okay. I'm going to check it later on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to a concert, concert with Alex. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, why don't you go, you go and talk to Julia? Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. Anyone here? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia allí? Anyone here? She doesn't know anyone. She doesn't here. know. Mm -hmm. Anyone here? Anyone here? Teacher, no se escucha. Anyone? Anyone here? No, anyone no here? Uh huh. Anyone here? No me escucho, Glenda. Glenda. She doesn't know. Anyone here? here. Anyone here? Me escucha, Glenda. Glenda. Ella ha de, ha de ver este pasado el, el audio. Glenda. Hello, Glenda. Uh, Se oh. le fue el internet. Hello. Hello, Glenda. Can you hear me? Ah, Romer yes, también. Yes. Ah, ok. Anyone here? <ríe> Anyone <ríe> here. <ríe> ok. Ajá, ok. Julia. Which one is the is the is the or the teacher? Which one is she? Which one is, is she? she? I see. Uh -huh. Is she the woman uh, wearing glasses over there? Uh -huh. No, she's the tall and one in jeans. She's uh -huh. starting near the window. Oh. I didn't like to meet her. Mm -hmm. I I I like I like to meet I her. Like, I like I like uh, no her. okay. I like to meet her. Uh -huh. I like I like I like. Yes, to meet she's her. standing. She's standing near the near the window. Okay, no sé si Romel quiere practicar Romel. Hi Romel, can you talk? Hola Romel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Romel. ¿Puede practicar? Mm, yes, of course. Okay, Romel is going to be Raúl. Y no sé si María José. 
Hello, Maria Jose, can you talk or no? Not right now. Okay, Robert, practice with me. Eh, yo voy a hacer list. Okay, hi. Conmigo, teacher, para practicar yo. Okay, Lucía. Okay, Lucía is going to be... ¿Quién, fue? ¿Quién acaba de ser, Lucía? Uh, Raúl. Raúl. Ah, pero Raúl. usted empieza. Empieza Lucía y después le sigue Romel. Ajá. Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Where, Maggie? Oh, oh she couldn't, couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Uh -huh. Anyone here. Well, is, she, is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Uh -huh. No, this is the car one and Jinx. She's standing near the windows. Oh, I like to meet her. Yes, I like to meet her or oh, I like to meet her. Como tenemos una T y la H es muda, ¿verdad? Como la H es muda y la T queda entonces entre las vocales E y E. Oh, I like to meet her. To meet her, right? Mm -hmm. I like to meet her, right? She couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. Okay, we're going to wait for your classmates to come back from the room number two. Karen Cruz and Miguel Angel Clemente and Roberto Carlos. I think they are still practicing, right? Okay, so in the pronunciation, so you have a good to see you. También, ah, también esta, mire. So you have here, good to see you. Puede ser, uh, como tiene la D y la T entre las dos vocales, O. puede ser good to see you, good to see you. Uh, make it because the letter E is silent, is mute. Uh, concert, concert, como una, ¿verdad? Over there, por allá, meter. Ok, en estos últimos momentos que quedan, vamos a revisarlo de la plataforma. Este, esta semana no hemos revisado eh, la plataforma, right? Ok, no sé si tenían alguna consulta con respecto a la, a la plataforma. No sé si tenían alguna, eh, han tenido algún problema con respecto a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Yo voy apenas por la 5.4, pero no he intentado todavía. Ok, so in the 4.0, in this session participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. Then you have the video and you have another uh, auditive. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation with each two between two people describing another person. Okay, y hasta aquí tiene ejercicios, ¿verdad? Instructions, write questions to match these as statements. For example, you have here, uh, my brother is 26 years old. Ah, lo que están viendo ahora. How old is your brother? How old is your brother, right? How tall are you? How tall are you in the number two? I am uh, that. Uh, what does he look like? Or oh, how does he look like? What does he look like? Or oh, how does he look like, right? Uh, so he's he's tall and very good looking. Good looking, buena presencia. My sister hair is medium length. How long is your sister hair? Your sister. How, how long is your sister? your sister hair? And the number five, I am 40 years old. How old how are, you? are you? How old are you? In how the number are? six. They are nice. So, what do they look like? This one. What do they look like? How do they look like? Or what are they? What are they like? Or how are they like? Pero la, la how are they like? Oh, what what are they, they like? Uh -huh. What do they, what look they like? like? Recuerda, en esta no le va a agregar eh, sin de pregunta porque ya está, verdad? And the number seven. How tall is he? How tall is he? Ok, how tall is he? En el otro lo que tiene que hacer es, tiene que escuchar el audio, dice. You have to listen the audio program and fill in the, the, the gaps, right? And fill in the gaps, ok. Solo este y vamos a ver. So in the number one, I think Brian's good looking. Good looking. ¿Puede llevar guión o no puede llevar? Eh, he is pretty tall. Él es muy alto. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Here, pretty tall. He has, he has dark brown hair. He has dark brown hair, hair, right? Okay, and so he has dark brown hair and a mustache, and a mustache, right? I wanna send you the picture of this. 
Este ya lo hicieron. Con este no han tenido problemas, ¿no? 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 ¿No question no. with this? Eh, ¿No lo han hecho o no han tenido problemas? Sí, yo ya lo hice. Ah, ok. So, that's nice. Very good. Excellent. Ok, so, a pretty tall. Ok, he's about 30. He's about 30. Mustache. In the number two. Tina's 18. She has, she got red hair. Aquí red hair. She has shoulder length hair and very curly. 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 Curly, right? Curly. And she always wears interesting glasses. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. Long, curly long tall. hair. Long, curly, long hair. Curly short. Curly heavy. Show. Very tall and slim. Very tall, slim. Slim. Slim es como es, eh, muy, está muy, muy... ¿Delgado? Delgado, ¿Cómo? seco. Porque ¿Eh? fin es okay. delgado, fin. Slim es uh -huh. como decir seco. Okay. So, see you okay. tomorrow, people. If you have any question with the platform, let me know, right?